welcome back. And today I think the first thing I want to do is sort some of this out a bit. I'm going to, I think I'll chop this noggin off the end there. And then just try and uh, see if we get the top a bit flatter because it's got some tear out bits and things and whatnot going on. Uh, trying to figure out which way I can plane it successfully. Maybe that way, I don't know. But yeah, I think I'll start chopping that noggin off first though, because that's good. I don't want that there anyway. Don't need it there. And I think it'd be better to have a like a, a line, um, you know, like the PRS and stuff. That's a harder line. Um because I probably want I'm probably want to put some stain on the back of this this body because the mahogany is a bit pale and stuff, so I might want to do something there. So I think I'm gonna start by hitting the band saw, chopping this bit off, and then we'll get some planing done on the top. So which way does the grain go on this? It goes every way. That's which way it goes. <laughs> the problem is with the hand planing. If you go in the wrong direction, it tends to have these little teary spots. When you go in the right direction, you get a really smooth. But um, some parts, like over here, it goes better that way. Over here, it goes better that way and stuff. So Next up is the belt sander, I think. I'll give that, give that a bash. There we go, that's looking pretty nice, eh? It's pretty flat and clean. The difference in colours and stuff, eh? It's mad wood, absolutely mad. Um, I just took a piece of the off cut of the ash I was using for the neck, put masking tape on it, stuck the paper on. Um, but yeah, use the masking tape, then you can just peel off when it's knackered and stick a new bit on. But yeah, one cheap, easy, simple tool. Uh, homemade, of course. All right. Get this unclamped. Uh, right, um, yes. Get this side. It's the one that's totally square, isn't it? That's not quite square, it's just square. This side is. Right, this side is very square, so that's the side I'll put down for cutting on the uh, bandsaw. I need to think about how far this neck's going to sit in because um, uh, down, like down this end it's probably going to sit about 60 mil maximum at this end, but this side, obviously, because of the shape of the body, um, I'll also need to leave this extra part in. Uh, we'll figure it out later or something. Let's see the. So I'll take that in there, add, say, 42 mils. I'm not quite sure, I can't remember how long that needs to be. I'll make it 42 just now. Easy as well. So, yeah, okay, to about there. That'll be spot on. Yeah, that'll be 
be spot on. Okay, yep. So that's the neck heel done. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna I'm gonna leave routing the neck pocket just now. I want to kind of basically finish the neck first, really, get all the frets and everything like that, all done. And then I can use that as a guide with the the big long ruler to really work out the proper depth and whether to add a tiny angle or whatever, you know. I want the fly to basically sit kind of just sit in the body and no more, you know, the base at the bottom of the floor, just to sort of sit in rather than float above the, the cavity, if I can, I'll try and do that. Um, I mean, you can fit a floyd, no bother, eh, but uh, work out that getting the height is different. Um, so I want it to kind of sit in, so that'll be a, a different thing to do, different challenge for me. Um, yeah, and I'm going to put a... In the meantime, I'm going to make a plate up. I'm going to glue these bits together uh, to make a plate for doing the uh, putting on the headstock and also doing the cavity cover with plenty of thickness there. So I'll need to 
work out how to cut them because um, I need I need sort of straight edges down both sides to be able to clamp them together and things and what have you. So yeah, I'm going to get on with that now and figure out why. that radius to 16 and um, so of course once again I hold up to the light of the garage and I use my straight edge uh, following the string lines and um, if you find you have a high spot for instance you might have saved a high spot in the middle for instance just all you do is put it down put a bit of weight on it rub it back and forth a few times and then recheck because it's surprisingly how quick you remove that and um, this one had a high spot on this side and Turn it over, it's just gone. So, yeah.
that's good. That'll uh, match in with the uh, the body colour wise and stuff, eh? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That <laughs> I like using the super glue. It's very fast, and it's not structural. It's just it's just pure decoration. So perfect. Although I don't know, super glue might be suitable for structure. I have no idea. Yeah. Then I'll just sort of file this flat again on the top here to fit the uh, fit the nut on. But that's one of the reasons I didn't didn't want a shelf on the fretboard because I knew I was putting this plate on. Uh, anyway, we're going to leave this here and we'll come back whenever we come back. We'll figure out what we're doing next. <laughs> yeah, there might be some delays in this series because I'm waiting on some materials turning up and things. Um, so maybe some hold-ups. But I've still got plenty to do. I've got a thickness of the headstock, carve all the neck, shape the headstock, cut it out, etc. Plenty to get on with. Um, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment as usual. And I'll see you all again real soon. Cheers.